Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. My family lived there, and I remember it as, ugh, just the greatest neighborhood ever. Every house on the street had a family that was a different nationality. I had a teacher in fifth grade who heard me, I think, in a music class making fun of her behind all the students. Her head spun around from the piano and she looked at me and she said, well, it looks like we have a singer in the class. As opposed to like, you know, sending me to the principal, she just started giving me the solos and uh, actually gave me something to do with that energy and ability. It really changed my identity in school. It's what's so important about arts in school. I was so fortunate there was a teacher that pulled me out of uh, the choir back in seventh grade. And that was the first time I realized that, um, that, I, that I could do this. I started playing the flute when I was in the fifth grade. My teacher really just pushed me to work very, very hard. When I was growing up, I would say work for adults seemed sort of mundane. I really never considered that I would be anything other than a musician. And I was, I was encouraged that I could be by my teacher. At that time, Pittsburgh had a program once a week. You could get your lessons there for free. I love Pittsburgh. I lived there for 40 years. My high school art teacher was such an influence, passionate about what you know his students were doing and passionate about pushing you. I think that the arts are important because everybody needs an outlet for creative expression. My high school uh, wasn't focused on the arts and I really felt something was missing. I went to high school in Pittsburgh and uh, it truly had an incredible arts education program. Theater etiquette and, and, and keeping the importance of an ensemble, that it's not about one person, it's not about your ego, it's about the group. That sense that this is not just about you succeeding as an actor, that this is not just about you, it's about the play, is something that I learned definitely here. And that served me so well throughout my career. I think that arts education is important because we need to identify the young artists. We need to put the horn in the hand of the next Charlie Parker. But I don't think you have to be an artist, per se, to benefit from arts education. We all benefit. All children sing. All children dance. Everybody wants to be in a play till somebody tells them that they can't do that. No child ever asks if they are artistic or not. They just pick up the medium, whatever it is, the paintbrush, the crayon, the pencil, and begin. Everybody has that creative urge and that need to build and create. I'm seeing it in my children from practically from birth. I think, you know, as we get older, unfortunately, we tend to lose it unless we make it a focus. We all are artists. We all see things differently. Everyone can draw, everyone can create. But I think the more you do it, it's just like uh, any muscle. The more you train it, the more you exercise it, the better you get at it. There's so many studies saying how, like, when you're young and you're exposed to different kinds of arts and music especially, that it helps, you know, development. I do know that when you bring music or theater into a school, when you bring art, when you take a class to a museum, all of a sudden, children's grades, interest, willingness to learn just explodes. It helps with everything else. It helps with math, it helps with English. It's not just a feel-good luxury extracurricular. Getting those opportunities for the first time, you, you go to a school play or you see them in an acting class or a, a drum class or whatever it is, you see something light up in them. I think that when all else is said and done, when all of us are gone, it will be the arts that are a measure of what our civilization was like. I think the arts in Pittsburgh are really, really world class. There's such a diverse like art scene. When you think about the history of great Pittsburgh artists, Andy Warhol was the first artist to really mix commerce and art. The Carnegie Museum and just all the cultural events going on around town, I think it just fosters that, that creative environment. It's actually a better city to train than the cities that we go to to 
like have these fabulous careers. I think Carnegie Mellon, uh, it's a really unique place because you have the best technology and engineering school alongside the best creative and design and art schools. So there's a really interesting dynamic and in kind of both sides of the brain playing on the same field. I know a lot of my successful like engineering and like computer science friends from Carnegie Mellon, like they all had training in the arts too, you know? Being able to live together and to work together and to survive each other is something that we started doing in Pittsburgh. The entire city of Pittsburgh kind of reflects that as well. Um, so many of the big tech giants have set up shop now in Pittsburgh. Couple that with all of the artistic uh, events uh, that are going on, it makes it a very, very unique place. Would you wait to go to New York to try to start your career? Or would you not start it right here where you are, where there is opportunity? And fortunately, Pittsburgh had opportunity and they gave chances to kids. Young people who have engaged in the arts are better humans with each other. They're better collaborators. They're more inventive thinkers. And we need all of that in our world.